Hello ShiftYes Tribe! We are launching this month's theme, which is feedback, something that is so critical and important to organizations and teams. And uh, we normally start with a couple tools and tips about the topic, but I just want to give one sort of overarching idea uh, this month about feedback, which is that we have to, as an organization, create a culture and an environment of feedback, where we have a collective understanding and mindset that feedback is productive, it's important, it is welcome, it is safe, it is not seen as criticism, but an area of opportunity to improve and to coach each other into greatness. To be successful with this, we have to create common guidelines that define how we approach feedback and how we go about it, that it's done appropriately, that it's coming from a place of care and trust and growth, uh, where we're investing in each other and our shared success together. So we have to use common, familiar language um, and build our capacity as a team and individuals to give and receive feedback. There is an absolute truth about this topic, and that is that feedback requires vulnerability. We have to collectively admit and individually that we are not perfect, and we're not interested in the illusion of being perfect or pretending that we are perfect in front of other people. That's garbage. We replace that with a commitment of improving and being exceptional, which requires external feedback. And we will grow individually and as a team a hundred times faster if we receive outside external feedback than if we just assume how we're showing up, how we're doing, and how we're progressing. Uh, it's so necessary to have that outside perspective um, to help our growth. There are a lot of aspects to feedback, whether that is getting feedback from customers or clients, getting feedback from employees, from leadership, etc. And all of it is important. It must be seen as important because it is in service of our growth and improvement. And one place that a lot of organizations miss the mark and do something very dangerous and stupid is that in so many cultures, feedback is only puked downward in an organization, is only given from leadership and authority down to people below them. And that is such a dangerous, ridiculous thing to do. You have to give a space for your people to give feedback. They have to be able to say, this is my experience here, um, right? And prioritize that everybody here needs to have a great experience and that we care about that. If you do not allow people to give feedback about their leadership and the organization above them, you can kiss your best employees goodbye. Your, most, your highest performing, most emotionally intelligent people will leave or worse, uh, they will have all of the energy and joy sucked out of them and they'll stay. There's also a shift in mindset that needs to take place and that leaders and organizations need to see themselves as being in service to their people. It is not the other way around. As a leader, my role, my job is to bring the best out of my people and to serve them, right? To like give them the environment and culture where they can thrive. And it's so important for us to go to our people and say, how am I showing up as a leader? Am I doing great? How can I be better? How can this experience be better for you? And we have to approach that in a way where we're willing to hear something that we don't like. You don't want 100% glowing reviews from your people because it doesn't give you anything to improve on, all right? We have to approach it in an earnest, honest, transparent way to say, hey, look, can I be any better here? We all think we're great leaders, but also we have blind spots and you have to have other people help you by shining a light on those areas of opportunity for your growth and your improvement. So throughout the month, we're gonna talk about some tips and tools and, and get into the finer details of asking for feedback and, and how to approach those situations. Um, but I wanted to start with that kind of overarching idea that we have to create a culture of feedback. So uh, we will see you throughout the month. Go be awesome.